Joe everyone and welcome to another YouTube episode with your totally TJ Stark. I hope you all are doing great and I guess you're just wondering a little bit how I made this. Or this. Well, today I'm gonna guide you through Wondershare Filmora how to do a pretty nice but easy FPS gaming video. Start by clicking the link I have right down here in the description so you can download Wondershare Filmora. Wondershare Filmora is the only program I work with right now when I'm doing all my videos on all my social medias and YouTube. And I'm doing a lot of gaming videos and this program is easy and is amazing to use. So start clicking there and download it. Start by opening up your Wondershare Filmora program and in here you want to import the media. Either you click here or you can just drag them from the map just directly into the program. Usually it's all the files that you've been downloading from like a stream or maybe it's just something you're recording directly from your graphics card. Just drag them right in here. We're gonna work with one video file I have here that's a Apex video clip because Apex is like the FPS games I play the most. So I'm just gonna use one clip that I have so I can show you some tips and tricks that I'm using to make a easy video. Also, the songs you can use uh, if you wanna use songs into the video. Uh, what Chef Femora has a lot of options when it comes to music. Either you have directly in the program or finish and done, but you can also click up here to get to something called film stocks. That's why I love One Chef Mora. Here in film stock, you have a lot of effects. You have your audio, images, videos, like everything you can get from here. So you can basically take audio, you can just write like beats, and it will give you a lot of options of what kind of music you can download from One Chef. Uh, one from the film stock right down into your program so it comes directly into your program. Now I've already downloaded a couple of stuff into Wondershare Filmora so I'm just going to use the things that I'm already downloading. But most of the things that I've used I've downloaded from film stock. So, so we start by dragging down the video file into the timeline and also the music file. I've choose to mute this video because there's a lot of background noises and music playing here while I'm streaming. So I've decided just to mute it in this case. But otherwise, it's pretty cool to have the sounds. You hear the shootings and everything from the guns. Uh, that makes it a little more, more popping out if you can say it like that. So now it's just playing looking like this. Pretty boring. And... If I drag it here, I can see in a fast time lapse what's going on. And in an FPS video, we want stuff to be happening pretty fast. We want the video to start somewhere around here. So I take Control B to cut it, and we take this away. Just click Delete. And we work with it. And there was the end of the clip where we do the shooting. So we want to take that away of the end of the video. And now we have the things that are happening in the video right here. So one of the things that I really want to show you that's like, like every single FPS video thing I'm watching right now is using this kind of stuff. And it's kind, it's called a key, uh, it's called key, key mapping or key framing. So what this is actually doing is that a key framing decides what's, when it's going to start, when it's going to end, and what's going to be happening between all the keyframes. So I can basically choose anywhere on this video, and we want to choose just right before we shoot here. Just going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to start mapping out one keyframe. You're going to see it comes up a little dot here. And on this dot, you can decide what's going to be happening at exact this moment of the keyframe. So either I can zoom in or I can zoom out. So we're going to stop putting out that. This is just a keyframe in the beginning that's just going to be putting there to show that nothing's going to be happening, but something's going to start here. So what I want to do is I want something to be happening when I'm shooting. That's going to be around somewhere here. 
And this is where it's happening again. Here I want to put another keyframe where the shooting happens. I want it to zoom in. And when the shooting is done, kind of like there, I put another keyframe. And what's going to be happening here, it's going to zoom back into the norm right there. And now it's going to look something kind of like this, so you understand how the keyframing is working. That was a little bit too long. We're going to move this a little bit closer so we get a fast one because the shooting is very fast. If we put it also one right here, keyframing there, and there's going to be another shot right there. And then we put another keyframe. It's going to be a zoom in. We move this a little bit closer. When the shooting is done, we took another keyframing and we move out. This is something that I play around with, like all my FPS videos that I've done to make it a little bit more popping out when the shooting is happening in the FPS videos. So let's see what's going around. Right there we go. So that's how keyframing is working. Also, another thing that I love to be working with is like in the end of the FPS videos, when this, let's see where it goes. Here we come with the knock right there. Control B, take that out. Take a short sequence of like the knocking or what's happening right there. I'm gonna drag this away. I'm gonna go to this video clip that I clipped out just of this shooting. I'm gonna use something called speed and duration. And here I can decide if I want the clip to go faster or slower. And in this case, we want it to go slow. Let's put it in half. There we go. We can also do it a little bit slower, to be honest. Down to like 37, right there. Also, another cool thing, you can copy this. Control C, Control V, put it right after, click, right click on it, do the speed and duration, and you have a little box here called reverse speed. If I click that, it's gonna reverse the video. And it's gonna be looking something like this. So that's pretty cool to have. These are two things that I love to be working with in an FPS video. Another thing that is really amazing why we use Wondershare Femura is in the titles, you have a lot of good title openings you can use for a gaming video. If we just click on this one, we can add it in the beginning. We can go into this one. We can change it to like, let's say TJ Stark. Production made by TJ Stark. Take that away. We can drag down the music. Let it start. Pretty cool, huh? Also, transitions. Be sure to be working with transitions. Transition is the things, how it's gonna be swifting the scenes between the videos. We, I'm just gonna show you from like this video here, from this sequence here. You can take one of those I like most, it's like the orb or the warps. So if you double click them, you can see what they're doing. So this one is gonna be transition into the other one like that. I can drag this down, I can put it in the clip, or I can put it over the both of the clips. And I can drag this back and forth of how long I want it to be. Cool, huh? This is like 
how to make an easy FPS video with one chef and more Thank you everyone for spending watching this video. I hope you learned some stuff. Don't forget to comment and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like what you see, the thumbs up. If you dislike what you see, thumbs down. And don't forget to check out my other videos. So thank you everyone. I'll see you very, very soon.